Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new lesson, and the name of the lesson is Bank Reconciliation Statement. So before we proceed ahead, first we will see the recording system of banking transactions by the business in the cash book, and how the same transactions will be recorded by the bank. in the customer's account which is also known as bank statement so let's start so here i have taken few transactions so 2019 jan 1st what we have done opened a bank account with the dollar 10000 so bank balance will increase so bank is asset increase in asset debit So in the cash book on the debit side in bank column I will write the amount ten thousand and uh, date is two thousand nineteen Jan first and here I will write the name of the opposite account cash I have opened only bank column on both the side I didn't open cash column and discount column because we need to focus only on the bank column. so this is the recording of first transaction in the cash book now the same transaction we need to see how bank will record in customer's account so 2019 on the same date jan 1st the bank will write cash as bank got the cash and bank will put that money in the deposit column so in customer's account deposit is known as credit and withdrawals are known as debit so bank will put this 10000 in the deposit column and there is no withdrawal on this date so the balance on jan 1st in the customer's account will be dollar 10000 and it is credit balance because total of credit is more than the total of debit so this is the recording of first transaction in both the books now see jan 2nd what we did purchase furniture and paid by check dollar 2000 so as we paid by check so bank balance will decrease so what business will do in the cash book on the credit side the bank will put dollar 2000 in the bank column because business issued the check and because of that bank balance will decrease so bank is asset decrease in asset credit so in the cash book on the credit side the business will put dollar 2000 in the bank column and here we will write the name of the opposite account and the name of the opposite account is furniture furniture now see what uh, transaction bank will record in customers account so jan second so the person to whom i gave this check the shopkeeper from whom uh, i brought this furniture i should check to that shopkeeper so that shopkeeper presented that check in the bank so bank will deduct money from my account and put the money in the shopkeeper's account so here bank will write check and he will uh, bank will write the number also suppose the check number is 1 to 3 so against this check number bank paid dollar 2000 from my account to that furniture vendor so now let's see what is the balance so now the balance will be dollar 8000 and it will be still credit balance 10000 minus 2000 still the business has 8000 balance in the bank account so this is the recording of second transaction now let's see the third transaction paid carries dollar 200 by check so again the business issued the check for dollar 200 so bank balance will decrease so decrease in asset credit so credit side business will write dollar 200 and here we need to write the name of the opposite account is carriage and the date is jan 5 and the same transaction let's see how bank will record so jan 
and as I issued the check, so check number is now 124 and again bank will put this 200 in the withdrawal column and the balance will be now 8000 minus 200, the balance will be 7800. So it is still credit balance. So, so far we have recorded three transactions and all these three transactions were recorded in the cash book by the business and in the customer's account by the bank and the copy of this customer's account is basically known as bank statement or you can say passbook also. So let's see the balance of uh, both the records on Jan 5th. So on Jan 5th see the balance. So cash book is showing debit balance because total of debit is more than the total of credit. So let's see the cash book balance on Jan 5th. So 10,000 minus 2,000 and minus 200. So cash book is showing balance of dollar 7,800 and it is debit balance. Why? Because total of debit is more than the total of credit. Now let's see the balance of customer's account in the bank. So we can see it is showing balance of dollar 7800 and it is credit balance. So the conclusion is what? That both the records are showing same balance. And why both the records are showing same balance? Because whatever these three transactions we have done so far, all these three transactions were recorded by the business in cash book and by the bank in the customer's account. So all three transactions were duly recorded by both the parties. That's the reason that both the records are showing same balance. But sometimes on a particular date, both the records do not show same balance. And that's the point where we need to prepare bank reconciliation statement. So in this video only this much. In my next video, I will show you that why both the records sometimes do not show same balance. See you soon.